Welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, we are going to write equations in point-slope form. So your objectives today are just that. You will write equations of lines using a point and a slope in point-slope form, and you will write an equation of a line in point-slope form when given two points. The question I want you thinking about today as we go through the lesson is how is point-slope form related to slope? And that's exactly where I'm going to begin today. So point-slope form is the equation of a line in the form y sub subtract y subscript 1 or y1 is equal to m multiplied by the quantity x subtract x1 or x subscript 1 where m represents the slope of the line and x1, y1 represents a point on the line. So thinking about this as naming a point as one point, and it can be any point on the line. So we learned that slope is equivalent to the change in y, subtract the y coordinates from two points on the line, and divide by the difference of two x coordinates where x1, y1 is one point on the line, and x2, y2 is a second point on the line. So point-slope form came from the slope formula. If we go ahead and decide that we only need one point, and we're going to leave y2, we're going to take that out and just make it y, and we're going to take x2 and make it x. So we know that when we write the equation of a line, we need to have an x input and a y output. So if you remember from our previous video for slope intercept, we have y equals mx plus b, and we always answer with the y and the x. So for point slope form, we need the same. So we're going to use one point, and the second point is going to stay an unknown x, y coordinate. Now we want to solve, we want to clear the denominator. So to clear the denominator in algebra, we can multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator, which is x subtract x1. So x subtract x1 divided by x subtract x1 is dividing by itself, so it's 1. So I can rewrite this to be our numerator, y subtract y1 equals m multiplied by the quantity x subtract x1. So you can see that our point-slope formula comes from the slope formula. So if you know the formula for finding slope, it's very easy to remember your point-slope form. So that's where it's derived from, keeping in mind that x1, y1 is a point on the line, and m is your slope. Reminding you, too, that this is y subtract the y-coordinate and x subtract the x-coordinate. Now let's practice. If we're given a point and slope, we're asked to write an equation in point-slope form of the line that passes through the given point and has the given slope. So we're going to start with our point-slope formula, and we're going to identify that this is our point, and negative 3 is our x-coordinate, or x1, and 4 is our y-coordinate, or y1, in our point-slope formula. So we're going to replace y1 and x1 with those values. And then we're going to take our slope, negative 1 fourth, and put it in for m. So let's do that. y subtract 4, remember it's subtract the y-coordinate, and our y-coordinate is positive 4 is equal to our slope, negative one-fourth, multiplied by the quantity x subtract our x-coordinate. In this case, our x-coordinate was negative three, so it's x subtract negative three. Now to answer our question, we know that this is not in simplest form. We can simplify this to be stated as x add the opposite, so x plus three. So now you know that if you see an equation of a line in point-slope form and it's add a number, that the coordinate is negative. Now you also may be given two points and asked to write the equation in point-slope form that passes through these two points. 
So let's start with our point slope formula as we're learning it. And we're going to first find slope. Anytime you're given two points, you can instantly find slope. So slope is the change in y, negative 4, subtract 3, over the change in x, 2, subtract negative 5. Negative 4 subtract 3 is negative 7. 2 add 5 is 7. Remember, add the opposite. So negative 7 divided by 7 is negative 1, giving me a slope. Now, I'm traditionally going to pick our first point. You could use either point. So we could write an infinite amount of point slope formulas. They're all equivalent equations because everybody could pick a different point on the line. For this video, I am going to, for the most time, pick the first point just to keep things consistent. So we have to identify y1 is negative 4. So y subtract y1 is negative 4. m we identified is negative 1. And x subtract the x coordinate or x1, which is 2. x subtract positive 2. So now we are going to simplify this and we are going to say y plus 4 is equal to negative 1 multiplied by x minus 2. So I kept the 1 here, but you could just drop the 1 and leave a negative sign. You may also be asked, using function notation, to write the equation of a line that passes through these points in point slope form. So first we are going to note our point slope form as we're learning it, and then we need to identify that this function notation represents an ordered pair. An input of x, 1, has an output of negative 2. An input of 3 has an output of 6. So remember, this function notation is an ordered pair. It shows a relationship between an input and an output. So we have two points. We're going to find slope. Negative 2 subtract 6, the change in y, divided by the change in x, 1 subtract 3. So negative 2 subtract 6 is negative 8, and 1 subtract 3 is negative 2. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4. So now we can go and plug everything in. Our y coordinate of our first point here is negative 2. y subtract that y coordinate equals our slope for x subtract the x coordinate. The x coordinate is positive 1. We can simplify y subtract negative 2 to be y plus 2 equals 4 times the quantity x minus 1. Now we also need to be able to understand point slope form. So if you're given an equation of a line written in point slope form, you might be asked to identify the slope of the line and a point on the line. So here we go. And this would help you graph it too. So we are going to look at our point slope form and we are going to identify a point and slope. So remembering that our x1 and our y1 represent the point on the line and I put a big star around this and it was kind of alert, alert, alert. This is add 4. So we know that the x coordinate of this point needs to be negative 4 and the y coordinate is positive 1 because we subtract that y value. So our point is negative 4, positive 1. Our slope is the m value, the number outside the parentheses, which is negative 9. So the slope of this line is negative 9. So if you were given this equation and asked to graph it, you could graph your point and rise and run using your slope. All right, now we also could use point slope form to write the equation of a line passing through these points in slope intercept form. So in our previous video, we learned all about writing in slope intercept form, and we are now going to learn how to take point slope and write it also in slope intercept form. So we're going to begin by writing our equation of our line in point slope form first. So then we're going to answer in slope intercept form. So first, let's find the slope of our line. Negative 1, subtract 5, the change in our y, 
7, subtract negative 5, the change in x. Negative 1, subtract 5, is negative 6. 7, subtract negative 5, is 12. Negative 6 divided by 12 is negative 1 half. So our first point is going to give us y subtract negative 1 equals our slope of negative 1 half and x subtract our x coordinate 7. We are going to distribute and simplify. So this is y plus 1, negative 1 half times x, then negative 1 half times negative 7 is positive 7 halves. So I'm distributing because I need to solve for y to write it in slope-intercept form. So now I'm going to isolate the y by subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation. So I need a common denominator to subtract, so negative 1 is going to become negative 2 over 2. This is equivalent to negative 1, and now I have a common denominator. This is 0. So y is equal to negative 1 half x, 7 halves subtract 2 halves is positive 5 halves. And now we have our slope-intercept form. Understanding that this in slope-intercept form is an equivalent equation to point-slope form. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video and write the equation in point-slope form of the line that passes through the point negative 6, 1 and has a slope of 2. Pause now and come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we're going to just plug in everything that we have. The y-coordinate here is positive 1, so y subtract 1. We have a slope of 2 and then x subtract our x-coordinate, and we are going to simplify this and neaten it up to be x plus 6. All right, two points, and I'm going to ask you to write the equation in point-slope form of the line that passes through these two points. Go ahead and pause now and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So the first thing you're going to do is that's our point-slope form, and we're going to find slope. 2 subtract negative 2, our y-coordinates, subtract 1 subtract 3, our x-coordinates. So now we're going to have 4 over negative 2, or slope of negative 2. We're going to use that first point, y subtract 2 equals our slope times x minus 1. Now if you used the second point, you would have y add 2 equals negative 2 x minus 3. Now it's your turn. You're going to use this function notation to write the equation of a line that passes through those points in point-slope form. Pause now and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So here's our point-slope form and our ordered pair for the first one is negative 2, negative 4. Our second ordered pair or point is 2, 8. Let's find our slope. Negative 4 subtract 8 divided by negative 2 subtract 2 gives us negative 12 over negative 4 or a slope of 3. Now I'm going to change things up and use our second point here because they're both positive and sometimes it's just easier. So y subtract 8 equals our slope of 3 multiplied by x subtract 2. If you use the first point, you would have y add 4 equals 3 times x plus 2. Equivalent equations, just two different points. Here's another one. Without simplifying, I would like you to identify the slope of the line and a point that lies on the line. Go ahead and pause and come back and hit play. Welcome back. So the first thing we're going to do is compare it to our point slope form because it is in point slope. And our points are going to be our x and y coordinate. So we have 6. And over here, don't forget, alert, alert, that's add 5. So we know that our y coordinate is negative 5. Positive 6, negative 5. And our slope is our m, or this value here, negative 2 thirds, and that's our slope. Your turn again. This time, I want you to write the equation of the line passing through these two points, but I want you to write it in slope-intercept form. So go ahead and pause now and come back and hit play when you're done. 
Welcome back. So here is point slope form. We're going to start by writing it in point slope, and then we are going to solve for y to put it in slope intercept form. So first we are going to find the slope of the line because we were given two points. So 5 subtract negative 15, negative 2 subtract 3. That gives us positive 20 over negative 5 or negative 4 for our slope. So we're going to plug in our first point, y subtract 5 equals our slope of negative 4, and then it's x plus 2 because it's subtract 2. Now we're going to distribute. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x, and negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. We're going to add 5 to each side to isolate y or solve for y. So this is 0. Over here, we're going to have negative 3. So y is equal to negative 4x subtract 3. So these, are again, are equivalent equations. One's in point slope, one's in slope intercept form. And there you have it. That is how you write equations in slope intercept form and in point slope form. So I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Have a great day.